and welcome back everyone. In the previous video we learned about how to register category for our custom blocks and in this video we are going to learn how to build our first custom Gutenberg block. Are you all excited? I'm sure you are. I'm as well. Great. Just to let you know that it's a little bit advanced uh, theme development and so it is for the Gutenberg as well so if you so if you don't have a prior experience about what Gutenberg is and you know how blocks are built uh, it's okay but I would strongly recommend you to watch my Gutenberg series uh, at least the first few videos just to have a little bit of understanding of how Gutenberg works and how blocks are created but even if you don't watch it it's completely fine but that will really help you anyways let's start just a small correction before we move. So remember in the webpack config, we added the blocks entry and we accidentally put the editor.js, which is this needs to be blocks.js. Okay. Awesome. Great. So I'm just going to run the webpack again. npm run dev. So we go into the development mode and not the build because we're going to be developing block. Yeah. So what do we want to build? Let's think about it. I want to build something that's currently not available. Or maybe there are some plugins available and I don't want to use those plugins because I want to keep it clean uh, because mostly what happens is that every time you add a plugin, it comes with its own baggage of stuff which we may not necessarily want, like maybe registering different blocks and all of that and maybe doing some other things as well. And I want to ensure I only use my stuff so maybe I'll just create a custom one so what can we build what we can build is a block which will be interesting and it will be do's and don'ts block so we want to have a block where I can add a title uh, which is do's on the left hand side column and I can then list down all the do's and it should have an icon in the heading of a check mark and then on the right hand side uh, we can have don'ts with a cross check mark and below that we can list down all of all of the don'ts. Now what are the things we can reuse from WordPress that exist already? Uh, can we use heading? Yes we can use heading uh, but unfortunately heading doesn't uh, the heading tag that is currently available in WordPress doesn't have an option to add an icon next to it right so then we can build a custom one. What else can we use? So we want a background, uh, so for that we can probably use group block because we know that if I use a group block if I use a group block and let's say if I insert anything inside of it um, I know that I can add a background to it, right? So group block is useful so I can reuse the group block. What else can I use? I want the list items. Do I have something called list? Let's see list yep I do which means and I have that as well and I want two columns do I have something called columns let's see oh yes I have columns and I can choose two columns layout as well this clearly means that I can reuse a lot of blocks so I don't have to build those functionalities myself and whenever the Gutenberg code is updated with more functionalities to those blocks maybe to those list block uh, I don't know they it, we might have uh, option to edit the color or the font I'm not sure you know it could be anything then we would be able to take advantage of that in future and of course there's no point reinventing the wheel if something already exists right so we want to be doing minimalistic things okay so wherever we have a functionality that doesn't exist already and when I mean, we cannot reuse something that already exists uh, then that time we'll build a custom block okay like in our case we want a heading that needs an icon next to it so for that we'll build a custom block so let's do that so what do I call that block so we can call that block as heading with icon as simple as that yeah so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll go to my theme so this is my Aquila theme I'll go to assets And then inside of that, I'll go to the source directory inside of JS. I will create a directory called Gutenberg. Okay. And inside of this, I'm going to create a f uh, another directory called blocks. You must be wondering why am I creating a separate directory? 
uh, called blocks could I not just keep all of the blocks inside of Gutenberg the reason for this is because we're not going to be just building blocks we'll also be adding block pattern we are also going to be adding uh, style variations block filters so I don't want to mix things up uh, I want to keep it separate more organized way yep so inside of blocks I can have another directory and let's name it we can have another directory and let's name it as heading with the icon right and we can create an index.js so index.js and inside of this we can register our block right so how do we register the block let's go to this repository uh, and please give star if you haven't already to support my work let's go to projects where I've kind of added all of the information in more organized way let's go to the last piece of it and there is a blog handbook link so we already have the uh, WordPress core block handbook link that we can use and it talks about writing your first block type yeah so how do we register it so you can see that we can register it using the register block type function right and that's what we need to do so remember we install this package uh, which is at WordPress slash block and we're going to use that uh, if you we were not using that package you will use something like this const and then you'll use register block type and then equals WP dot blocks something like this but since we have got the package available we can directly use that so let's do it oops I'm gonna copy this okay so we're gonna pull the register block type function from add WordPress blocks so we can destructure it yep and then we can it says that we can use all of this so let's I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna use it here so we can use the register block type function the very first thing it asks you is what let's take a look to take a look at the definition of register block type function it needs a name so what does the name should include it should include the block type name and that should have a namespace as well right so if you come back over here this is the format it should be so this is the namespace and this is your block uh, I mean I, I can call it a slug but this is the name of the block basically um, all right so let's do that I'm gonna put the namespace as Aquila blocks and then over here I'm gonna call it heading I'm assuming that I won't have any other headings so I can even call it heading with icon but I feel it's too long I'll just keep it heading to be short okay and then it needs the title so what's the title that's going to appear when somebody you know selects that block so I'm going to use translation function I don't know why the, it's been missed here should have added translation function but anyways I name it as heading with icon and then the text domain is Aquila what will be the icon so I'm gonna use an icon oops I'm gonna use an icon called okay before we go to icon if you see this is not there right this is missing so we can pull that import so there's a function in JavaScript from at WordPress and there should be i18n which is internationalization so that's that okay so I can use that now it's fine and for icon I can go to dash icons dash icons and I can look for something like yeah let's go let's go with this one so you don't need to select this part you just add this one uh, ex anything excluding the everything excluding the dash icon dash okay so we'll use that okay what's the category so remember in the previous video we registered a custom category right so you go to classes and then you go to blocks 
what was the name of the slug so slug was aquila right while registering the category so that's what we're gonna use right uh, example no I don't need anything example we have the edit function also uh, now of course I'm gonna get rid of this style and everything for now okay and I'm just gonna show this to you that this works but of course you have to import this file so you go to blocks and say blocks and then import Gutenberg blocks heading with icon you don't have to write the index.js a lot of knows that okay that's it let's try it try to use let's try to use it let's click on add new and then search for heading with icon there you go congratulations you've got your first block awesome great so let's write my first block thank you I'm wrong <laughs> okay update view post Oops. view post and there you go my you've got hello world step one from front end right so you've got that awesome great that doesn't do a job but yeah we've at least registered our first block and we can see that it's working both in back end as well as front end we've also got the icon and if you notice this is the heading with icon this is the same dash icon that we had got earlier and just to let you know the way to navigate with blocks is that down at the bottom you see it says heading with icon right so that's one way of checking that and there's one on top as well so you can navigate like so you can also go on to the select mode so you can jump between the blocks as well using that all right so let's go back to the edit mode uh, and let's get back get to work all right so there are a few th more things we're going to need probably we need description so just below the the icon i'm going to add a description and then again i'm going to use the translation function and um, i can let the author know that it needs to add heading and select icon so we're going to come to the icon in a moment and then text domain is equal okay awesome this is great